This is kind of not that old, but I'd say a couple months ago. Okay. Um, Forgot to do it. Dict- no, we put this out there. Oh, we forgot to follow up. Though. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, there is a follow up. You know, Dictator Xi, he went and posed with some sugar cane, right? Mm-hmm. So, of course, this created this cult of personality frenzy where people were coming from around the country to take pictures with that sugar cane, that specific, like, that cane. sugar cane plant, <laughs> okay? Um, it's a it's a resurgence of Mao era policies, which is yeah. like you go and promote a specific crop because it shows the output of the country. It's very old school ideology, like the Soviet Union did it. Yeah, it posed with like, you know, the, with a, the dictator at the time or whatever, and then throngs of people go pose in front of the wheat. Right. Yes. China did that with Mao. We saw it die. We never saw that happen again. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, now we're seeing a resurgence of that. Let's pose in front of the crops. It's usually a, a warning sign that there <laughs> yeah, aren't this, enough crops. Yeah, it's not um, good. There used to be this website. It was like Kim Jong Un holds stuff. I think it was called, and it oh. basically had him like holding corn mm. and holding a whatever a potato. He does or, hold things. Yeah, and it's like and just a, had him, you know, you know, the old one, Kim Jong Il. Sorry, it's a un- it's a mm-hmm. both a fascist and a communist thing. Yeah, is having really is. the dictator like standing, imposing, or holding something yeah. and looking at something, observing. Yeah, I, I I just have to say that I, I I can't stand to see this, what we're looking at behind us here, where people are willing to first of all they were paying money as mm. well pay, to pay money and to queue up to take a picture with a freaking piece of bamboo sugarcane well, yeah, looking just, junk yeah. you know just because some random dude stood next to it yeah isn't it horrible? It is literally just. The old days, though, yeah. isn't it? Just with now we have cell phones and well, social media. There's there's a little bit of positive news that came out of this, though. What? <laughs> sort of. Is somebody else obviously thought it was whoa, really whoa, 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 <laughs> yeah, whoa, you, whoa, whoa. Yeah, can you turn that wow, volume down a little bit? That was obscene. <laughs> what did you say? Wow, so good. <laughs> That black <laughs> screen was so yeah, good. Yeah, let me just make sure that, uh, yeah, we've got the right <laughs> audio here. Okay, all right. Okay, okay now, yeah, that. we'll play it again. Okay. Uh, somebody set fire to that uh, little uh, sugar cane. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, I have an alternative thing. I think this happened by accident because in China, so many people smoke. You know, there is a potential that somebody just chucked a cigarette, but, or, you know. Like... It's entirely possible. But anyway, look, I am i don't like to see things burning down. No, no. I don't like to see anything like that. But one thing I'm glad is that, that, that this pathetic thing of lining up to take a photo with that thing's now over. Yeah, because that's, it's that's burned. why I'm congratulating. It's burned. It's finally, it's done. Because yes. you got to stop worshipping crops. They've got, we've shown it in the show before, but there's like places around china where xi jinping looked at a toilet and the toilets now got like banners around it yeah and, and like gold like velvet robes and whatever you want to call it ropes and things it's horrible like why why is there so much worship over this one man and okay if he wrote a poem or something i get it but like yeah, literally poem or he stood in this spot and they've got it like all you know cordoned off and it's a famous spot now he touched mm. this he touched this microphone. Remember, they have a museum where, like, everything, this this teacup he touched, you mm-hmm. know? It's just, yeah, it's a bit much. You see that with all the dictator stuff. Like, it's like a historical thing. Mm. Once, once you get to that level of power, you can kind of just have people worshipping everything you touch. You literally yeah. touch. Yeah, which is pathetic. I get it if someone's dead. Like, yeah. okay, maybe Napoleon, you find Napoleon's teacup and it's got some kind of historical significance. Yeah, like worshipping it, though. No, but you're not. But the thing is, Xi Jinping's alive. Yeah, He's walking true. around eating pork all over the place. And people are like, this, you know, this yeah. bone that he chewed on. It's like, right. you know. Remember the anyway. footprints? Yes. Outline, there's outlines. Yes, outlines of his footprints. Yeah, here. he stood here, exactly. And you pay money to go stand yeah, there. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Anyway, moving on. I mean, maybe I just maybe I'm missing. Yeah. We have to talk about this um, this Chinese um, military dude. Yeah. Promise well, an update, right? Yeah, yeah. Just a quick update on the guy, and it's very disappointing. But not that long ago, two U.S. servicemen were arrested for selling secrets to China. Now, both of them were Chinese nationals. But they were American citizens. Yeah, they, they were yeah. Chinese nationals who moved to America, then naturalized to become American, and, right. and then immediately joined the armed forces, and uh, then were approached by Chinese intelligence officers, and even through their families and stuff, and told, hey, listen, you know what, give us U.S. military secrets and we'll pay you. Mm. And who knows what other benefits they got. That's all up for speculation. But we'll talk about this guy in particular because he's just been sentenced. So what he did was he provided information about joint 
um, maneuvers and, and uh, military exercises uh, in the South China Sea to, the, to his Chinese handler in the Chinese intelligence. And also photographs and, you know, like information in it and tons of information about the radar systems in Okinawa. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know the deets. No, I mean, if you think about this, right, this is, this is bad. He's put a lot of people's lives in danger. Mm. Because if the Chinese government knows exactly the radar systems, etc., then they'll know how to circumvent them. They'll right. know how to get around them. They'll know how to find a way in. They'll now be able to maybe disable them or whatever. Okay, right. this is vital information. Right. And you've got all those U.S. Uh, servicemen based in Okinawa. Right. Yeah, right? there's a U.S. base there. And never mind the joint uh, the joint military exercises that he gave detailed information about. Those are his compatriots, right? Yeah. His, his these... fellow soldiers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so he was caught. He was sentenced. And you would think that this would get a big sentence. Yeah, it was supposed to be max 20 years, right? He got two years. <sighs> and he was fined $5,000. $5,500. Jeez. It's not even a slap on the wrist. It's insulting. Yeah. And I've got to say that, um, honestly, I'm incredibly disappointed. Because this sets a precedent. Um, I, as an American, am proud. I'm just saying, you're saying mm. from an outside perspective. This yes. is a foreigner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can say this is a foreigner. Absolutely, I can say it as a foreigner. I don't give a shit. The <laughs> thing is, joking. here's the thing. <laughs> I'm incredibly disappointed in this. That's a because, pretty lame sentence. Dude, what this is doing is it's advertising to every single potential Chinese spy out there. Yeah. Okay, anyone who's been approached by a Chinese military intelligence official... Uh, and told to spy on the U.S. government because they're already inside the military, of which, of course, there are many potential, yeah. um, that if they get caught, they're going to get a slap on the wrist, maybe two years, maybe $5,000. doesn't matter. This guy already was paid over $15,000 by his uh, intelligence uh, operative, and that's just what they know about. Of course, he probably got paid more to his family in China or whatever. You never know. It's hard to tell. Who knows, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's, I'm just making that up. You never know. But the thing is... There is no deterrent now. You can literally be a treasonous piece of shit and put American service men and women's lives on the line and only get two years in prison. Yikes. It's rubbish because there was not that long ago uh, somebody took a picture of a submarine and got like uh, 18 years or something. Keen says, so the guy made a profit from being paid 15K to that small fine. I know. <laughs> he made I know. a 10K profit. He made a $10,000 profit. Now uh, he gets two years of free room and board, you know? Yeah. And it's not a deterrent. The guy sold out the U.S. military to Chinese military intelligence, and that's all he got was two years. Do better, America. Do better. Yes. This is not okay. This sets a very bad precedent. Okay, especially China is so motivated right now to steal military secrets. There have been for years. We all know that. All Chinese military tech is based on American stuff anyway and Soviet stuff. You know how that, this, this is a good point, the comment, he probably cooperated. Maybe that is, you know that whole thing where like when you cooperate, mm -hmm. maybe you like give up information or whatever. That does, and you yeah, I mean, fine. Maybe there's something going on behind closed doors. Who cares? I'm saying it's we what, don't know all It's what's the out details. there in public. Yeah, it's like I'm saying like, I understand your perspective of putting it out there. Yeah. Like that's what people see. You know how many people have probably not, you know, They've been approached by the Chinese intelligence right. agencies and they're like, you know what? This is treason. I'm not yeah. going to do it. Yeah. But now that they see that treason only gets you two years, yeah. they're like, woohoo, I'll take that risk. It's such a small potential. It, that would be interesting, though. Like, just devil's yeah. advocate yeah. To, to think about if there was cooperation involved, could have led to something better, maybe a bigger find. You know what I mean? Well, maybe. Maybe. But it also opens the, the entire, you know, military up to. Um, potential spies now because it's easy sure and the repercussions are nothing it's two years and five thousand dollars yeah just about anyone can afford that yeah if you were offered a massive amount of money from the chinese military right now and you're in the military they say i'm going to give you a hundred thousand dollars take some pictures of the submarine and you're like sure why not hundred grand Psh, what's going to happen to me two years and five grand five oh, you're saying if that's yeah you're saying me i was like absolutely not. no not you i'm just saying how if dare you if you're like a kind of just a slightly a corrupt dude. feeling dude yeah if you're like I, you and, wake up you wake up on the corrupt side of the bed that day and you, you don't even necessarily need to be chinese you could be anyone right yeah, yeah. do you see the sets of bad what happened to the other dude remember there's two? Oh, he hasn't been sentenced yet ah, okay maybe he'll get the big sentence who knows we'll find yeah. out yeah, anyway, you know, I'm just, I feel strongly for this, about this because, you I know, I believe in justice. I, you understand, also understand, though, the devil's advocate does warrant at least thinking about sure. that maybe it led to something yeah. even better. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, we'll, we'll probably never know.
I would say tastes like industrial runoff. This snack is is just a menace to society. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. It's kind of like hell. It's hell. It's hell. Like um, it's not kind of like hell. This is what hell yeah. probably is. But you don't want to be eating something that came out of an industrial park in China. Yeah. Oh, it smells like meat. It it, <laughs> it does smell <laughs> like meat. Over. It smells like dog food. Oh, does it? Oh, it really does. These are so preserved. Yeah. You could put this in a mummy's tomb. It tastes a little bit like cigarette ash. It's just rubber. Look at that. It's bendy. Look at it. It's rubber, dude. Woo. That was, uh, that was a spectacular feast.